Well, here it is, the moment we've all been waiting for, the reveal of the new RV and the start of season six of Living Our Vision and... We have a new intro. Follow the road into the sky. Never let adventures pass you by. Be free and follow your crazy dreams. We're living our vision in the RV. Come ride with us in your be. Mission in starters, the chips and salsa. What do you think of those, Michelle? These are very, very good. No margarita yet, so we'll just have to use this. Salute. <laughs> well, good morning. So, our RV is not quite ready yet, <laughs> so we're going to be here, it looks like, a few more days. Darn. This place is really nice. The Mission Inn, if you ever get a chance, you gotta come here. It is really, really nice. Um, it's just a gorgeous, gorgeous property. Walk around here while Michelle's getting ready and just uh, kind of admire this place. This feels like you're in heaven. Really nice restaurants, multiple restaurants, and really, really, really good food. And uh, they have a spa, a pool, it's just beautiful. While we waited for our new RV to be ready for us to start our new adventures, we stayed at the Mission Inn Hotel and Spa in Riverside, California. The Mission Inn began as a quaint adobe boarding house in 1876, then becoming a full-service hotel in the early 1900s. Opened by Frank Miller, it expanded in 1903 with over 200 guest rooms and the addition of the Mission Wing built in Mission Revival style while incorporating architectural features from more than 20 different California missions. Three more wings materialized as demand grew, including the Cloister, Spanish Wing, and the Rotunda Wing completed in 1931. There are six stories, and that top room right there where it comes, that's over 2,000 square feet. Miller filled the hotel with valuable items from across the globe, including artwork, furniture, and religious relics. So we heard about this tour, self-guided tour, called the Get Lost Tour, right? Yeah, Try to Get Lost. Try to Get Lost yeah. Tour. And it's supposed to be absolutely gorgeous, so we're going to see if we can't find it. We went clear up to the fourth floor, and now I guess we're going to try to get up to the top here. Maybe this is it. Don't that.
This place has all kinds of rooms inside and outside. This place is so amazing. Everywhere you go, there's these little cubby holes, different stairways. You think you've seen it all, and there's something new. Now we come out this door <laughs> of the top of the chapel, and here we have a spiral staircase going down. Dizzy. This is the backside of the cupcake place. So the uh, owners of the hotel, Blaine and Kelly Roberts, their daughter Casey started Casey's Cupcakes, and that I believe that won the Cupcake Wars, that TV show. I can't remember what year. I'm gonna say like maybe 2011. You feel like being cupcake criminals coming through the back door here? Right outside of the hotel, there's this place you can walk with all the, the shops and restaurants. It's called Graham's Mission Barbecue. Hear that? Graham's Mission Barbecue. And they give you quite a bit of food for the prize. We can share the salad, so barbecue chicken salad. And this is called specialty fries. Yeah, I know. It's not healthy. So this Graham's Barbecue is a pretty good place to come. A lot of these places around here we've noticed that, that we've eaten at so far either are very pricey or they don't give you very much food. This Graham's gives you a lot of food and mm -hmm. it's a decently priced. Mm -hmm. so. Graham's Mission Barbecue. Yeah, and we're not going to rate the food because it was just a basic salad, which they give you a lot of food, by the way. We share. And the fries was like a specialty fries. It's just fries with some pulled pork on it, barbecue sauce, and uh, coleslaw, but they're very good. second I've got a surprise in store for Michelle uh, made her a, a spa treatment to get a massage and uh, she, she deserves it she never has that done and um, trying to make it a surprise for later than tonight uh, after supper so hopefully the timing all works out but I just wanted to say to you Michelle thank you sweetie for all that you do I hope you enjoy this tonight No, no, this. <laughs> yeah, this, this right here. This, this is okay. This, okay, we'll go over here. I have the gluten-free penne pasta with jumbo shrimp, garlic sauce. Looks amazing, and you've got a salmon.
very good flavor. Well, the salmon, I tasted the shell salmon. It's one Nine and a half. It was probably the best salmon I've ever had. Yes. Very, very good. Had yeah. a really good uh, like a glaze seared, on it. Yeah, seared to perfection. It was awesome. And my, um, I have the jumbo shrimp garlic linguine, except I substituted the linguine for penne pasta, which was a gluten-free pasta. And it was pretty good. I'm going to give it eight and a half. So it had a really good flavor. Very pricey here, though. Very pricey. But it's good. It's gorgeous. Married here in 1940. Nixon was married here. Mm -hmm. Probably the greatest attraction of the Mission Inn is the Garden of the Bells, the largest and most valuable collection historically in the world gathered from every age and climate. The Mission Inn still houses the oldest bell in Christendom dating back to 1247, procured by Frank Miller of the Glenwood Mission Inn while in London at the shop of the bell founders who cast Big Ben. This bell is quite unique with its Latin inscription. You did. It's like completely like sauna. And it was just like. And there's your Ooh. champagne and chocolate. Ooh. You deserve this, sweetie. Thank you, honey. So, how was the chocolate that they gave you? It was good. What was it? But really, one chocolate one. Seriously. And me? The eucalyptus room. My towel just dropped. Oh, the eucalyptus. Was it amazing? Yes. My husband is the Breakfast was good. Mm -hmm. A little pricey for a breakfast, forty-five dollars. <laughs> but we're giving it about an eight and a half. Mm -hmm. It's a good breakfast. And uh, here we go. We're checked out. We're off on our adventures. We're check. You checked out. You checked us out. We checked out, dude. I'm checked out. <laughs> It's a van. You guys probably uh, figured out what it was early on. We gave a few clues, especially since uh, most of the RVs are made in Indiana. Right. Thought we would have some fun with it and give you a couple clues and not too much. We're on our journey back to Florida. We're gonna take our time. Um, gonna see a few things, hopefully. We'll Maybe see. get some pie. We did find some places that are supposed to be uh, famous for their pie along the route. Oh, one other thing. We recently realized that Palm Springs has been our maiden voyage after every RV that we got. And it's not been planned that way, just just the first one when we when well, we bought our oh, very true. first uh, Class A Vinny, yeah. we decided to come to Palm Springs. Never been here before, and then we sold Vinny in Palm Springs and bought our new RV. And the first place we stayed with it was here in Palm Springs. Mm -hmm. And then 
just so happened that the manufacturer from this RV is in Riverside, California, and the first place we stay is Palm, Palm Springs. Springs again. <laughs> it just worked out that way. We love it here. <laughs> <laughs> we anyway. do love it here. But yeah, we there is a lot to uh, to learn and ingest with this new RV. It, we're already liking a lot of the benefits. Uh, it's going to take some getting used to. Yeah, there's a learning curve. For some of us. There's an adjustment period. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and by the way, just so you know, we did not purchase this RV. We are ambassadors. So this is just a temporary thing. Look at this as a trial. We're going to see how this works with the Class B. But that being said, even though we do not own it we're just ambassadors and even though we're ambassadors Gretch knows that we are going to give our honest opinion about it um, they understand that we have to give honest feedback to you our viewers so that you know if this is a good choice for you um, so we're gonna give the pros and the cons and uh, see how it goes it's gonna be a learning experience for all of us but it's definitely gonna be an experience and an adventure. I can't wait for the, the dry camping. You don't even need a generator Oh, with I know. This. That, I like that part. Well, we'll show you more of that next week on next week's video. So uh, be sure to tune in next week to see how this journey goes on the way clear back to Florida. Was it 30 some hours? It's a long jaunt. Yeah. But we're just going to kind of take our time and stop at a few places. So that being said, catch you next week. Time to call it a day. Let's call it a day. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel, click that little bell, and hit that thumbs up. See you next week.